my dear Sagittarius, this is your love and spirituality reading for the time between April 16 and April 30, 2017 with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. Uh, so I now use the Legacy of the Divine Tarot by Zero Marketing and I will start shuffling your cards. So I call the Divine with Love and Light. I call the Four Archangels in the Four Corners of the World. And I call the six elements, earth, wind, fire, water, spirit, and ether, to join us here today and to give us a clear view of reading for my dear Sagittarius viewers. So I want my dear Sagittarius to have love in their lives and to find themselves in loving relationships. I also want you to have creative success and to be able to walk on your highest path towards your highest destiny. Uh, I also want to take the chance to tell you about the Lyrids Meteor Shower, April 22nd to 23rd. Um, and also the new moon, April 26th. Venus will be in Pisces and transit over to Aries in the end of the period. Mercury will join Uranus in Aries. Pluto will square Jupiter and the moon on the 25th, the day before the new moon. And Venus will square moon and Saturn on the 30th. Uh, we have the devil here. So, um, just as Venus moved into Aries. So, um, Venus have been doing uh, a little um, stunt on the heavens lately. Uh, she has been... Uh, being in Aries, she has gone retrograde into Pisces, where she's stationed at the 15, and now she's slowly moving back into Aries. So you can say that she has been in the netherworld, visiting Hades, and uh, so taking up, picking up your shadow, picking up the things that you were not really finished with, the things that you need to work with, uh, to see them, to be able to see your shadow, or to be able to see the things with your relationship and your love life that not really working. Uh, so, okay. Uh, so, for my dear Sagittarius, the second part of April 2017. Let's see what's going on for you. Okay. So, uh, I will just tune in for a few seconds. Uh, so, my dear Sagittarius, this is your future, uh, this is your now, and this is the past. Uh, the now is probably the second part of April 2017, uh, but whenever you watch it, it's um, probably the exact right time to see it. So, the first card for you is uh, King of Cups. Uh, King of Cups is usually Scorpio. Uh, it can be any kind of water sign, but it's probably about you. Uh, the King of Cups is about being able to connect with one's heart, uh, being able to open uh, your own heart, being able to process your feelings without being afraid of them. It's about finding your inner space, uh, finding that inner place where you are able to not only cope with your feelings, but actually see that they are uh, a part of your beautiful uh, feedback system both with the divine with your body uh, biofeedback and with your subconscious so you know that this is an information central uh, so uh, the king of cups is all about uh, being very mature when it comes to your emotions uh, being able to to have them but not being like pulled around by them just take the information and still be balanced within yourself uh, the King of Cups is talking about also people bearing gifts to you, uh, people showing a lot of love uh, towards you, people showing a lot of interest in you, uh, wants uh, to be there for you, wants to be um, be able to connect uh, and, and kind of take care of you as well. This can also be you doing this towards someone else, being very, feeling very romantic and very grounded in your feelings of love. Uh, so, the next uh, card here is uh, Two of Cups, so the love story goes on, and it's uh, Venus here, and so it's, um, 
uh, you feel uh, you have felt a very magnetic pull towards a certain situation or person uh, and this magnetic pull is uh, of course uh, like a road sign telling you in what direction you should go to find more experience and more enlightenment uh, more knowledge uh, where you can find and mirror yourself uh, because we are here on earth to see ourselves and mirror ourselves in other people. Uh, the next card is a hermit card. So it might indicate that you have fallen in love with a, a hermit person or uh, that you are actually doing this thing, mirroring yourself in a relationship and finding yourself. And when you find yourself, you find love because uh, they are the same. Uh, the hermit is about uh, sometimes about withdrawing from uh, from the world to be able to see yourself. Uh, sometimes we need a stillness, uh, we need a time off uh, to be able to reconnect with our true selves. In other case, we we'll, might be so up, uh, uh, occupied with what we are doing or with our relationship that we uh, kind of lose ourselves. Uh, with a hermit, uh, it's about going inwardly with the light of your attention and looking around, uh, seeing finding um, your core beliefs, your core values, who you are, what you want, what you like, what you dislike. Uh, the hermit is um, uh, is a little bit like a person doing also a revolution against society, he wants to uh, pull away from society to be able to to find out who he is. So it's a little bit like like a teenager. It's this phase of human development where we need to uh, to separate ourselves from others, uh, to be able to see ourselves. Uh, it's Virgo as well. And here we have a King of Wands. So King of Wands is, um, of course, probably you. It's uh, usually Leo. Uh, it can be Aries, Sagittarius. It's any kind of person that's very passionate, very creative, very positive. Don't see so much obstacles, just, uh, uh, just opportunities. The King of Wands, as indicated by the colors in this card, can be very jealous and uh, deceitful and uh, controlling because they want to have control over their creation. So they can be like uh, this laughing master of the universe. But that's the shadow side of the King of Wands. Uh, his, um, uh, in other case, the King of Wands is really a very compassionate person, can't really rest until everyone in his kingdom has... Uh, has um, uh, what they want so he's uh, he wants not what good only for himself but also for others when he have matured to this state so you have two kings uh, kings are talking about uh, conclusion it's talking about um, uh, also um, have been working on something and coming to the end goal uh, reaching the end goal becoming very matured being very skilled in, in this endeavor that you have been doing and you have a water king and a fire king so it's very much sparky around that it's a lot of passion and emotions uh, so uh, there might be that one part party here the king of cups is reaching out by while you uh, the king of wands are maybe pulling back uh, uh, um, because you have the hermit here. We'll see the last card. Uh, the next card is uh, uh, Ten of Coins. So it's Virgo again. We saw the Virgo here uh, in this. So yes, I think you want this, um, what's being offered to you, uh, but you also, you want it in a certain way, like with this, uh, uh, in this um, a little bit controlling way, controlling your your creation you want it in a special way uh, so you might have separated yourself from the situation for a while uh, to actually find out what it is that you that you want and the ten of coins is a place of value it's finding the inner treasure within yourself also sharing this treasure with others so it can be a situation where someone wants you to maybe move in with them start a new life buy a house maybe it's about changing job or um building up something together with others it's a 10 so it's much like the kings like a something that's con uh, like uh, fully grown uh, so it requires um, uh, a lot of um, decision making here if you should take this offer or not uh, if you should move on with this or not and uh, it's also uh, 
is this really what you want? I think this is what you are questioning. You, are, uh, you have this question inside of you because sometimes when we are being offered something, we might feel like overwhelmed. Uh, so that might be why some Sagittarius run from a certain situation right now, even though that they feel this beautiful connection and they want this treasure, of course. Uh, they want to have this thing. It's very valuable to them. Uh, but to, in the same time, you might be very scared about this is it really what you want or are you living someone else's dream because Sagittarius don't like to live someone else's dream uh, but in the same time you're very like helpful people uh, wants to help others so you might fear that this is one situation where you want to be very uh, you want to be like very cooperating and compromising and doing your fair share so you might feel that you are uh, you are just in this kind of mood where you are helping and enabling. Is it really what you want? So you might uh, need to take a break to, to see that you are going, just doing a reality check to see to, that you are going in the right direction. Uh, King of Cups and Ten of Coins both are like offerings. It's treasure chest. It's big opportunities. Um, it's chances, uh, very beautiful. It's in the past, but for some of you watching in April, early April, this will be happening in the now. Uh, so uh, the next line of cards is about the, the present. And we have a five of coins here. Uh, so if you are the king of coins, you might feel very unappreciated. Uh, you have been bearing gifts and, and you haven't really been uh, appreciated for it. Um, we see the, the soul's light that comes down here. It's in, in this card as well. But this person is very grounded in their feelings, being able to take uh, their feelings as information. This person is starting to get feeling very de desperate uh, and feeling like, well, if I'm not uh, getting a yes to my request, if I'm my emotions aren't met, if I'm not... Um, um, if, if my dreams are not going to be fulfilled, I'm going to feel very poor and, and also maybe very, very rejected. And, and um, so the, the thing that was a gift from the beginning has kind of turned into some kind of begging or asking like, well, <laughs> uh, do you want me or not? Do you want the situation or not? And when people start to feel like this, uh, they usually don't like it. Uh, so if you want uh, this offering, um, the person that's giving this offering have probably just a little amount of time to be able to say yes before this opportunity will have passed and and the situation might be gone. But it's also talking about you being able to uh, you need to not uh, attach so much to uh, to your goals that you live and 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 die with them that you if if um, if, if your outside world is going smoothly and everything is running perfectly then you are happy and when things are going crappy you become really low and down uh, to to live a rich and in, in and full life you need to find your inner center be able to take whatever comes um, in sickness and in health <laughs> without uh, really uh, putting so much of yourself value into this what's happening it's not saying anything about you it's just your life uh, that presents with different kind of outcomes um there's a story i'm not really uh, i'm not really remembering uh, um, every part of it but i remember the essence of it uh, so we have a tree of swords here i will tell you the story it was about a man that uh, that um, his he lost his son in a terrible accident, and uh, and all the people around him were saying, oh, it was a tragic, terrible, terrible uh, thing that this uh, happened to your son. Uh, but uh, we say we don't say that he died. We say that he broke his leg. It's better because it sounds less gruesome. Uh, but when uh, the son were in hospitalized, um, uh, it it uh, turned out that his house were on fire when he were on the hospital. Uh, so and everyone said, "Oh, what a lucky strike that you were in hospital when your house was on fire," and. Um, 
uh, and so this is what I'm trying to tell you that you don't know the outcome of the situation you don't know if it's going to be lucky or not in the end of the situation uh, it turned out to they found maybe a treasure down in the basement of this house that was burning and it was really lucky but you never know if a thief come and take your treasure and and uh, um, maybe kidnaps people in your house that was not a happy outcome so the story the the uh, the center of the story is to try to be to be balanced whatever happens with the three of swords you're not very balanced uh, when you when you give this offering to a person and they are saying no you're becoming very desperate and very sad and thinking that maybe your life is over or nothing you're never going to be happy again but i want you to to trust the universe a little bit more and and to see whatever comes it might not be the end result is what i'm saying it, it's um my might be like exactly this what had to happen uh, for you to have this in the end that you really wanted to have uh, so try to not attach so much to different outcomes try to be happy uh, no matter what happens you can't be happy if if um, you can't be happy if there's a, a, a terrible accident or things like this but you you won't jump around in joy but you don't have to think that your life is over either you don't th have to think that all your chances are gone everything has turned into a desolated uh, desert try to find your inner space try to find your inner center where you can stay when everything on the outside is like happening in this rapid movement it's happening a lot of like accident and and bad outcomes that's really not are accident or bad outcomes they are just uh, they are just um, stepping stones to where you want to go so see life more as an adventure than things being either giving to you or taking away from you uh, everything is giving to you everything is going to be turned to experience we can't really take our treasures with us when we go uh, but we, we can take with us the love that we shared with other people and the experiences that we made. Uh, so the next card really central is about uh, its three of wands. Uh, three of wands is sometimes about journey, traveling. We see this person is waiting in the harbor for the ship to come in. Uh, it's also about... Um, it's also about having an end goal, having a, a dream for yourself, a dream what what the future might look like uh, and be very decisive with what you have uh, so you don't... Um, settle for second best or or when a person when you're offering maybe your love like this to someone and they are not taking it well that's probably was a very um, obvious sign that this person wasn't really ready for this step or maybe it's not the right person for you uh, so um, what you need to do is to move on with your own life if someone is rejecting you, uh, betraying you, making you very disappointed, you say, OK, uh, so you have your free will. I'm not going to shovel down my my love or my beliefs or my dreams in, in your throat. Uh, you are able to live your life as you want and, and I will continue with my life. Uh, so this is about not losing hopes and dreams just because you have a certain outcome. You have a three here. This is also number three. So it shows that there's spiritual things in, in, in motions. You are working together with the spirits to accomplish something in the long run. And they are, they are seeing things from above. They see these different outcomes of the different accidents or situation that's happening. Uh, so they can see above the clouds. But you are down here underneath the clouds. So you can't really see what's going to happen. And... And, and and I want you to be able to stay really centered and, and not being pulled by everything that's happening in your life, because uh, then you might fall on your knees and say, OK, I, I give up. I won't fight anymore. I will live in my desert landscape and I le will let the uh, desert wind desolate everything. So you give up when the divine saw from above the clouds that something beautiful were waiting for you around the corner. Uh, so try to detach from situations, keep your dreams, but detach from different outcomes that you 
you don't have any control over. Uh, so if a person no longer wants to be with you, uh, let them free. Uh, whatever, if if a person or a situation is really yours, it will come back to you. You won't be able to lose it. Uh, so just let it go. Let go of control. Let go of control uh, to want to have different outcomes. Uh, but don't lose sight of your goal. You still want what you want. It's just not the right time for it just yet. Uh, the next card is uh, uh, the star card, uh, 17. Uh, we see here the ruins of the tower that has fallen. So the ruins of your past kingdom, this your hopes and dreams uh, shattered here. And, and this is um, the divine helping you. Uh, you will have a plan together with them and probably another person about the next step in your life. So uh, this is just a stepping stone. This is not the end result. This is not a big crisis. This is not this is just a temporary thing. Also, this will pass. Uh, so uh, your soul and another person's soul is mixed here in the river of time. So you, there's a lot of hope to this situation. Um, there's, there's going to be built a new, more stable foundation uh, for you, for this goal that you have, the three of wands that's very central here, very important. So it it's shines like a beacon here together with your inner fire. Uh, so it's about... It wants to say to you that you, you shouldn't get up, give up at this point. You don't know if this end result, if this is the end result or if it's just a stepping stone. Uh, so the next card is the wheel and the wheel is number 10 and it comes underneath the 10 of coins. So the wheel of fortune, will you have the treasure or not? Uh, the wheel is uh, the motion of the world. You have Jupiter here making everything bigger. So you will see. Uh, stay centered when the wheel is turning it's the divine um, it's the law of attraction it's the universal different universal laws that are in work here uh, so things are in motion it's happening big big things in your life and you can't control them uh, you are not uh, the one in control here so put yourself in center and be okay with whatever happened um, don't let go of uh, this attachment to outcomes and, and this will make you more happy and it will also make you ready for when the wave returns with what you actually have dreamt of and, and, and begged for. Uh, so um, it's about prayer as well. Uh, I get an intention here that I need to tell you that be very careful uh, with your dreams. Be very uh, thorough when you decide what you want uh, because the divine seems to want to bring this back to you it's coming back to you here it's you have the three of wands uh, this dream uh, the star card they are working on your favor and the wheel is turning so something is going on here big things so be prepared don't um, don't bury yourself in misery when luck is just around the corner okay uh, so the next uh, the next card for you here uh, is the nine of coins. So the nine of coins is talking about this inner space that seems to be very focused here in this reading. Uh, we have the inner space here with the hermit, with this card and, and this card. Uh, talking about maintaining your inner garden. Don't let anyone make you feel like this ever. Don't just don't let them. OK, keep your dignity, uh, keep your self-worth. This is number nine again. So it's connected with the Hermit card. Uh, it's talking about finding your inner peace, uh, finding your inner garden, finding your inner value. It comes cornered here and you have uh, on the opposite corner the ten of coins. Uh, so first, if you want something on the outside, see to that there's uh, that it's already there on the inside. If you want love in your life, love yourself, appreciate, respect yourself. See to that you get justice in all your situations. Uh, see, uh, look at what you want, what's making you happy and give yourself more of this. So this is how you will mirror love into your life. Uh, whatever you want, uh, see to that there's already in place on the inside. If you want a more mature partner, become a mature partner. Uh, if you, uh, whatever you want, 
uh, develop this skill within yourself, maintaining yourself, self uh, reliance, self sufficientness, and uh, not letting things, people, situation bring you down. Uh, so be much out in nature. Listening to birds singing is very good. It's making you um, be awake in the now. Also feel your heartbeat if you are able to. Or the breath when it goes in and out of your body. Feel the warmth in your hand and feet. Become very present. Uh, practice on this and you will be able to make an inner beautiful paradise for yourself. Where you will be utterly happy no matter what happens on the outside. Uh, also breathe in light. Uh, so mindfulness is what's waking you. It's making you be here and now, accepting whatever is. Uh, meditation is like you're going deeper. You're integrating your soul, feeling the warmth, bringing in the light. So do those two practices to, uh, to build on your inner center and be devoted to this. Uh, be awake, be aware. Uh, it's going to pay off. <laughs> it's going to to make you find this beautiful inner space. So wherever you go, wherever you travel in the world, uh, you will still f have your inner center with you. So nothing on the outside will ever affect you as greatly anymore. You will become very stable, very centered, very adult. Uh, the next card, uh, underneath the Two of Cups and Three of Swords is Six of Swords. So this is acknowledging your the truth of your situation. Also be able to talk truthfully, to tell uh, your counterpart exactly how it felt. Uh, she is going down uh, to the netherworld to marry Hades. This is Persephone. And uh, she, is, uh, she is marrying her other half. This other half that you need. Uh, to become a whole, to be able to uh, create whatever you want in your life. Uh, so, for example, self-respect. She's going to down to marry her self-respect. And by that, she's going to be more her total self, finding herself. When you find yourself, you find love. Uh, when you become something, you will mirror it in the outside world. Uh, so... Uh, Sixes are very good card. It's talking about harmony. It's like you're making harmony in your life. You're accepting the truth and taking the necessary steps uh, to to build on your future. Um, uh, the six of swords is also uh, not having the split between mind and heart anymore. So you want what you want. Uh, and you know maybe that you, you don't have it. Uh, but you are not going to give up until you get it. Uh, because this is how life wants to grow towards the light. Uh, it's in a seed uh, deep down in the soil. It needs to crack open the seed. It needs to grow towards darkness and mud uh, to come up in the light and to grow and, and mature towards the sun. So it's a big journey uh, that everyone needs to take. And we need to have a lot of courage to make this journey because once you're out of the seed, uh, then there's no going back. A seed can uh, stay in that way for millennia. Uh, but when you actually have gone outside the seed, you need to, there's a race. Uh, there's a race for, for life. So don't give up on your dreams. Uh, don't, don't, um, just because one seed uh, um, happened to fall in on fertile ground doesn't mean that everyone else of the seeds that you will send uh, is not going to find fertile ground. But if you are staying, if you are staying in the uh, deserty, giving up, no hope, everything is over kind of state, uh, you won't be able to send more seeds. So sometimes we need to give up hope. Uh, to, and to go inside our shell to heal a little bit. But don't stay there for very long. Uh, there's a lot of beautiful things waiting around the corner here. Uh, so uh, the next card for you is Four of Wands. So it comes underneath the Hermit, the Three of Wands, the Four of Wands. Uh, so you're building on your own foundation. You're building on your own self-respect. Not so much compromising anymore about your dreams and what you want. Building a, a beautiful new uh, platform for yourself out of self-love. Uh, so we see there's, there's like nothing being created here it's just vol volcanic uh, activity but here by your own soul's wants and longing for life life are being brought forward it's a rainbow here as well and birds um, uh, birds flying and and a beautiful stream uh, so this is about not giving up even if there's a desert tea 
um, situation that you're in, uh, don't give up on your dreams because you are about to build this, what you want. You are about to build a foundation to your new house, to the new life, which you will live in. Uh, so, but it's all about going back to the hermit stage, the nine, to find out what you, what you like and what you want and also be able to center yourself uh, in yourself. Uh, so the next card for you, uh, underneath the King of Wands and the Star card, it's the Page of Wands. Uh, so the Page of Wands is going back to the the childhood you, the person that you once were. Um, it's uh, it's access uh, the wheel card. Both of those cards are talking about revolution. Uh, you came uh, when you came. You were like the latest update from the divine. And you were supposed to be you. You were not supposed to be transformed into an older copy of your adult or a newer copy of your adult. You were not supposed to. You were a new update. So this is about using this new update, becoming fully you to be able to do the impact on the world that you are supposed to have. And you can do great impact on the world just by being you. You don't have to, you know, be seen or have a big show of display uh, you just have to be you uh, to just be that seed to grow towards the light the page of wands is about messages as is the tree of wands uh, so it's indicated that it might be you that needs to take the first step uh, if you want to uh, reconnect with a relationship for example but you need to be very truthful with what you want um, very decisive um, uh, compromising is good, but not compromising with what's making you happy. Uh, Page of Wands is life energy, wants to have connection, wants to have people in your life, uh, wants to build on love, wants to build on new foundation when it comes to creativity and other things. Uh, you want to grow. You don't want to stay in the seed. Uh, you want to grow towards the light. There's no wrong here you're supposed to long for things you're supposed to desire for things this is life's longing for itself uh, so the ne uh, next card for you is the queen of wands so now we have almost the whole family the dress card of fire uh, and the queen of wands comes underneath ten of coins and the wheel the two tens um the queen of wands is is um, a, a person that's very expressive uh if she wants something or thinks something, she will say it. So this is about becoming more courageous of being you. We see the nine here, the 17. The nine is getting to know yourself, healing yourself, becoming yourself. Uh, so there's no turning back here now. You need to, to be truly you and much in self-respect and also have the full display of your emotion, have the full display of your communication. Um, being um, being in your own authority. The Queen of Wands is very experienced, so you have a lot of things to tap into, uh, a lot of uh, know-how, a lot of street smartness. Use this in your relationship. Uh, the Queen of Wands is very compassionate towards other people, also very compassionate towards herself. Uh, she's kind of a very good mother as well because she will uh, protect her children like a tiger. Uh, and in the same way, uh, she is a utterly, utterly loyal friend. And, and she's also uh, being able to raise this child in a way that they won't be spoiled. They will be able to take responsibility like she does. OK, uh, so this is a person being very capable to grand things, uh, being a very resourceful person to be around, very attractive person. Uh, being able to attract whatever she wants in her life. It's an utter strength. It's a true creator. Um, she has a lot of symbols um, in her earrings about the soul and about the sun and uh, uh, other beautiful things. It's the moon there. So it's about celestial movements that's going to be very beneficial for you uh, to create this uh, whatever you want in your life. Uh, so it's very fiery. It's a very decisive. It's very... Uh, non, not so much compromises. Uh, you were you were born underneath a fire sign. You were supposed to be fire. This is not about being um, starting quarrels and uh, second, third world war. This is about expressing yourself and your true nature. 
um, not uh, shying away from this uh, anymore. Uh, so beautiful. Okay, so I will take some cards for you uh, from the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. See what's going on with your Sagittarius. Uh, more fire, okay. So we have the Phoenix, Resurrection, Surrender to Change. So whatever catastrophe you think are going on in your life, um, surrender to this change okay it's a good thing you can't lose anything that's truly yours and sacrifices will leave room for the beautiful things that you actually want the things that you have you have begged for help you have you have asked for help and the help comes here and it maybe comes in a in a way that you didn't want this you maybe just wanted a, a certain person to change for you to be able to be with them but actually it, it was you that needed to change and maybe to uh, to find out what were really going to make you happy uh, sometimes we are locked in a certain pattern that's enable us to uh, um, relive the same kind of drama over and over again and and now you're being released from that so these things what's happening the things that's burning in your life right now um the tower maybe um, that spring shred uh it's it's here for your your rebirth Mm, it's going to be born a uh, true Sagittarius out of this, the true Sagittarius that were once born and that was and has been maybe tainted or not being able to be its true self. You have the Metal King here as well. So it's about discipline, uh, armor, boundaries. So become very truthful to yourself and to your core values. Uh, don't be manipulating Don't uh, and don't let other people uh, treat you in bad ways. This is about uh, defending your kingdom in the most honorable way. Uh, it's the Queen of Wands, the one that uh, I would gladly let her um, take care of my children because she is uh, uh, she is this diversity of capacity, both being able to be warm and generous, being able to be in uh, utter self-respect and very decisive. Uh, also being able to be very protective so this all of this needs to be born in you uh, for you to uh, to become your true self here and to be able to create this new beautiful foundation for yourself uh, so protect yourself and protect your own energy as well um, if you have if you have been very uh, disappointed on someone uh, sometimes people live out of uh, the energy making other people disappointed so they might feel very enhanced uh, if they have um, made you sad so they see oh this person truly is truly interested in me or truly loves me uh, but I don't care uh, so this is giving those people um, a certain wave of uh, emotions that way that they are um, enhancing their own energy by so when you are doing those mindfulness exercises sometimes you need to um, give back the energy to the person withdraw your own energy and put up a mirror so uh, you won't have this uh, energy going back and forth back and forth this might be able if this if when you send back the energy you feel a big sigh of relief uh, then you know it's working then put up the mirror and and find your inner peace uh, so it seems like you are going to have to be very strong and, and self-sufficient during this period. But it's not forever. It's not a desolated landscape that you're in. It's a new foundation. It's b uh, being built something new, something better, something that's really going to meet your true needs and uh, make you being able to be loved for the person that you truly are. Uh, so for some of you cross-watching, remember that we had... Uh, area uh, Sagittarius here and and um, water sign here uh, so if you are the one offering this to the um, the Sagittarius you might need to take in the Sagittarius energy of becoming very decisive and, and being like my way or the highway a little bit uh, so either so the the Sagittarius person will mature or so you will mature and actually find the person that you are supposed to be with 
so uh, it's it's always like this. We are balancing uh, on this um, board, and and when someone taking the role as the bad guy, someone's taking the role as the victim. If you uh, change roles a little bit, you help each other. So if you become more in your self respect, if the other person doesn't respect you, and you become more in your self respect, you help them to actually respect you. Um, this is how beautiful things are. So you don't have to change other people. You just have to change yourself. If you think that you're in a hopeless situation, um, see what it is that you need to learn and learn this quickly and smoothly. And in the same time, uh, find your inner center, your inner platform, so you don't have to roll around in, in the different energies. Um, become more um, in line with your soul. Uh, so you will be much more strong. Okay. Uh, so uh, past life oracle cards for my dear Sagittarius to see what's uh, going on behind the curtains. Okay. So um, it's male, female and, and wolves. Uh, so it seems like there ha has been maybe a soul contract written or maybe you have... Um, in, in different situations, in relationship, you might have said, I will never, ever again. Uh, and when you have said something like that, you are going to encounter the same situation until you rewrite that because it's, it's those decisions that sometimes um, it's like a blockage of energy. So take a new decision, say, um, uh, so from now on, I will respect myself. That's a better thing. Woes and the male and female might also talk about destined relationships. Uh, so if you are really worried of losing someone, uh, there might be, um, you might not have to worry so much. Uh, it might be that you have making promise to, to do this spiritual work together in this life. Uh, and as I said, if they are truly yours, you won't be able to lose them. So woes are, it's, big promises that you have made it's big connection between people but sometimes this connection can be very disturbing in this situation where you're in now where you're trying to build on your own self so that's why I'm saying give back their energy pull back yours put up the mirror so you will have some peace and quiet to be able to find yourself because this is what you are doing right now so entangle yourself from them their energy it's just for now uh, you will be able to probably reconnect um on a much more mature scale as well, when you both have been balanced up yourself, so it won't be this pull and drama anymore. Um, it looks very hopeful uh, and it looks very like you will uh, change in a very uh, profound way. Uh, you won't be the same after this, it seems. Okay, uh, so thank you, dear Sagittarius, for watching, liking and subscribing to my videos and also commenting. And I want you to take really, really good care. And I hope to see you again in the beginning of May. Okay. Bye-bye.